What's up, Juice Heads? My name is Dolan. We're back with Gone Home. Um, we left off walking into this bathroom, and that is what we're doing. That is blood. Why is there blood in the bathtub? Oh, wait, no. It's not blood. False alarm. Lonnie brought her oh. hair dye over today. Oh, yeah? She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help. Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't Ew. know if I've touched someone else's scalp somewhere? before. That's pretty intimate, right? <laughs> it felt as Scalps are gross. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. There's no mirror. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. Long and she rules. was looking at me. <gasps> right in that moment. Ooh. I wanted to say something, Ooh. but I waited. And the moment was gone. Cinnamon. Ooh, girl. Get it, girl. Okay. Just gonna let that stuff soak for a little bit. Check out this toothbrush. Man, she is getting it in. Dump it all in the sink. Screw it. Hand soap. Yeah, that, that needs a little bath. <gasps> Where's our fork? I forgot about our fork. Where'd it go? I'll, I'll, I'll go and pick it up. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can I click on any of this? No. I don't like bathrooms. They're creepy. I don't think I can- Oh, tampon. Better put that in the sink. Wait, can I pick it up? Yep. Yeah. Can I chuck it that far? No, I can't. I missed. Oh well, I can't find it. It's blending in. Oh! Yeah! Nailed it! Did you see that, guys? Did you see that? I'll just- I'll just- Chuck it all in there. Why not? Why not? If it falls out, that is okay. We're we're gonna flood the house. One sink at a time. Let's do it. Okay. Sweet. Alright. What's going on over here? Anything? Hmm. <laughs> guess this one's broken. Yeah, I guess. Anything in there though? No, I don't think so. I think the only important thing in here was the um the hair dye, it seems like. Alright, we come back out. We'll we'll close this door so that it doesn't make a racket. God knows it's gonna scare me. Ah, that's a dark hallway. Alright. Moving on. This is someone's room, the parents maybe? Um, anything in there? No. In there? No. Not that. Nope. That's a lot of jeans. <laughs> Someone likes denim. Oh. <gasps> oh, gross. This is the parents' room? Putting it right on their pillow so that they know that I know. I know, guys. You can't hide that stuff, and that's gross. That's broken. What do we got? Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. The Fugitive. All the President's Men. Um, Something. Seaside Edition. No, Inside Edition. The Sound of Music. Uh, Bridge on the River Kwai. Silence of the Lambs. Alright, alright. Some movies in there. Uh, anything? 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 Mitten. Caitlin, age five. That was all me. That's cute. Is there anything? Any secrets behind it? I don't think so. Oh man, we're like right up there. Okay. Anything in the hamper? No. Just socks and underwears. Fair enough. Can you not close that one? No? Okay. Um, uh, nothing in here. We go around the side. Little purse. Yeah, nothing in it. Okay, okay. Um, over here anything? No. Earth, Wind, and Fire and Willie Nelson. Music for the planet. Earth Day Benefit. Cool, cool. Okay, no. I don't actually want to deal with that noise. Um, postcard from me, yeah? Dear Mom, Dad, and Sam. 
I'm in the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write to you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. That's nice. She's a good daughter. I can't say the same about her sister, but she's she's a good daughter. Anything under here? Some underwear? I, just, I feel so weird, like, creeping along the floor like this. Dunna. Dunna. Like crab walking. Booksellers. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands, Rick. Oh, he's borrowing a book from someone. Yeah. What book is it? Walt Whitman. Leaves of Grass. I have this book. I tried to read it. Part of it. I read part of it for camp, and not my thing particularly. Family photo, that's the same- oh no, that's an earlier one than they have downstairs. That's cute. It's a nice picture. I didn't want to put it back, I wanted to throw it. Thanks. Why would I want to be neat with the things in someone else's house, huh? Huh? Riddle me that. Alright. Anything good in this closet? The ghost game. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Avoid the ghosts of Ghost Mansion and make your sh escape with the wits intact. It's really dark right here. Um, the brother, the cowboy, the widow. Oh, no, stop. Stop, Thunder. Stop. <laughs> Can you just stop raining, please? Please? Anything in here? No. Anything in here? Crab book. Watercolor technique for florals and still lifes. Cool. Um, nothing good in here, it looks like. Nothing good. Alright. Anything over here? Maybe in the bathroom? It's obviously bathrooms have the most interesting things. Oh, we'll stick that in the sink. We'll cinnamon. When I go to the dentist, I always get the cinnamon flavored. What about you guys? Put in the comments what flavor you get at the dentist. What flavor you face. Got some shaving cream. It's nice. Hairbrush. Toothbrush. That one on. We're making a racket, guys. We're making a racket. Oh, there's a separate room for the, uh, that's cool. Um, anything in these? Can I click on these? No, I can't. Okay. What do we have? Looks like a wallet, doesn't it? No, it's just like a, a small, small, uh, what am I looking for? Like a hand towel, I guess? Anything good down here? I don't think so. It's really just a bathroom, I don't know. After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse, personally, spiritually, sexually. It may seem inevitable that, that's, that the spark you and your spouse shared in your honeymoon should fade over time, but it doesn't have to be. Part 1 provides simple steps to reopen the lines of communication between your, you and your spouse, allowing you to face the problems you share as partners instead of rivals. Part 2 leverages the Reverend's decades of service to God, helping you connect with a higher power. You'll draw strength from a spirituality you may not know, even know you have. Part 3 offers a number of fresh and exciting ideas for the bedroom, including a few things that may surprise you. Okay, Reverend Michaels, I don't know if that's the kind of stuff that you should be talking about, but whatever, whatever. Just flush the toilet, just to make sure. Dad probably, you know, left something in there, we're gonna turn that faucet on. I'm telling you, this house is going underwater. Okay, so really nothing exciting in the parents' room, unless I've missed something, but I'm pretty sure I did a pretty complete job there, so. What do we have here? Oh, that. Oh. Oh. No, no thank you. That's the attic. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. 
See, that's depressing. What's going on with her? I want to know. Why can't we just... Why can't we just find out? So this is the guest room, I guess. Um, seems to be for storage at the moment. Which makes sense. If you've just moved into a place, you're not going to be expecting visitors too soon, right? What do we got? Hey, Sam, you were asking what my... What? What my J-R-O-T-C ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Orienteering. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I am a burn adventurous and no... I'm a born adventurous and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Okay, so she's in the army for some reason. Composition book. Ghost hunter journal. Ooh, sighting journal. August 31st, a tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle- Oh, how tall was Uncle Oster- oh. How tall- the <laughs> How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. Yeah, well, girl, a faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Okay. Poured milk from a carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Wow. Maybe you bought it when it's like almost expired already, you know? Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly began to feel cold. We build a protective pillar for pillow fort. Ah, that's why that was still there. But like, you've left it there from October 9th till whenever. Lonnie and I employed a Ouija, Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing message messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know. Stop it. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly worldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic, probably due to leaky roof. Sample taken, just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Yeah, is that, what, is that what you would call a successful night? Everything in here is boxes. I feel like we're like... Oh! What the crap does that do? No. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guys, are you gonna make me play this game? Wait, let me press it a third time, because I did press it twice, and um, sometimes that will undo something. Oh my god. Oh! Ah! No! No, no, no. No, no, no. This is not okay. This is not okay. Guys. No, I'm not gonna close it from the inside, thanks. Oh my god, I'm so scared. I am so scared. I am so scared. What the crap is this? Holy crap. I'm so confused. Batmobile. The psycho house girl. The cool stuff about being the psycho house girl. Cool thing number one. Everybody in the hall thinking you don't know they're looking at you and whispering as you po walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral vision? Costumes? What? Skeletons and devils. Cheerleaders from the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. One girl dressed as Jackie Kennedy. Okay. That's a lie to mom and dad situation, but it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome, and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sand. Where the crap am I, guys? <laughs> oh. I don't like this. She I thought her area was in the attic. What the hell? Goodfellow Senior High School. Um, Dear Miss Greenbrier, I appreciate the time and effort you put into writing your letter. It showed initiative is, and was well written, but does not change my mind on this matter. While I understand that Miss DeSoto is a friend of yours, the fact of the matter is that she disp defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same to yours is immaterial. 
As to your complaint that no other student has been punished for their part in this incident, the fact is that no guilty party has come forward and there has been no convincing evidence as to who might have defaced your locker. In other words, there's no one to punish. I would suggest letting this issue drop as it will only bring more unwanted attention on yourself, which I believe is what you claim began this whole incident in the first place. So I Lonnie don't got get Lonnie sometimes. She got expelled. Like her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? No. She said they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. Hmm. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Mm hmm. Interesting. I feel like there might be, like, secret messages in some, some of these tapes, but it just... It's just not... It's not what I need. More scary noises. Um, girl justice now. This one's for you, Grossman. Captain A. Revolution girl. Had enough? The great good fellow riot of 95. Heard enough? Kicking against the patriarchy. Heavens to Betsy, Bratmobile. At X-Ray Cafe. Girls to the front. What? This is dark. What is this? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh uh, no. Nope. 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 Is that a person? No. Okay. Guys. <sighs> What's down here? A lot of newspapers. I'm so confused by this house at the moment, though. Like, where am I? I'm lost. Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared. I think- I'm not exactly sure how long this episode has been going. But I, so it might be a shorter episode. Uh, grab a postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from... Multnomah Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March and I don't know if anyone running the school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. What? Oh shit, here you come. Oh. <laughs> they tell you oh. to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Yeah. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, hmm. a lot lost. Wow. Like, for hours. Nice right one. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at ah, school, though. Awkward. I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Mm. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Well, I don't know, man. What if I don't want to? Wait. Um, citizenship stuff. Okay, she is a citizen. That's cool. Horace, I'm scared. <laughs> I. Okay, um, one of Dad's books. Ooh, dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book. It's an, uh, an author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I read it this afternoon. I certainly recognize my son in the subject matter. An author's work, oh, this is, wait, what? Oh, um, an author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears, and in the, this respect, I believe your work was successful. But the lens through which the personal shown 
was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime, dime stores, science fictional day ex, day ex ma machina, whatever, I, I, deus ex, I don't know, whatever, um, I feel like he did it, he spelled it wrong, it's supposed to be deus, yeah, I don't know, the great authors speak of their life's milieu, Mil mil milieu, milieu, in clear and honest tones, the lens crystal that reflects their- I can't- I can't read! The great authors speak of their life's mil milieu in clear and honest tones, the lens crystal that- the lens crystal that reflects- refracts their thoughts without distortion. Got through that sentence, barely. I congratulate you on surviving the great ordeal that is publication, and rest assured that readers of your chosen genre will lap up copies hungrily, but I urge you to shed artifice. You can do better. With a father's love and encouragement. Richard Greenbrier. It is dark over here. You guys probably won't even be able to see anything in the video. Wait, was this another room? Yeah, this is another room. Alright, I will, I'm gonna end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Helps me out. And, um, a comment. Uh, maybe helping me be less confused because I get where I came from through that, that room. But, like, should I go back up there and then, oh my god. Okay, that pipe scared me to die. Oh my god. I'm staying here, guys. I'm staying here for the rest of my life. We're gonna we're gonna hold up right here and um, live here. So uh, probably you know never record another video again because I'm going to be staying here forever. Bye guys.